Hello, hello, my lovely Aries. Welcome to your reading for March 11th through March 24th. We are going to go ahead and get started pulling your cards for today's reading. We're going to do what we've been doing. We're going to pull a card for each day of those two weeks for a total of 14 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so Aries, a lot of what I'm seeing here, looking at your cards, I am seeing a lot of you rethinking the way things are being done and also reevaluating for yourself what you think is important. Even if things aren't necessarily working out your way at this time, Aries, you are still choosing to think outside of the box. So Aries, a lot of what I'm seeing here is reevaluating the way that things need to be done and evaluating what that means for you personally, choosing a new way of doing things. Things may at this time not necessarily feel as though they are going your way, Aries. You may feel as though things haven't been going your way for a little while, that things have been a bit unlucky. And overall, I, I feel like this is a generally positive reading, looking at everything right here. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to get started on Monday, March 11th here. Now, Aries, actually, before we get started, let's talk about this real quick. Because even though this weekly reading ends on March 24th, the very next day, March 25th, is a full moon in the sign of Libra. And Libra, if you weren't aware, is the sign opposite Aries. So this full moon is going to be happening opposite of your sign of Aries, whether it be your Aries sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever it is that you are, wherever it is in your chart that you have Aries, whatever house it's in, is going to be affected by this full moon coming up in the sign of Libra. It's going to be challenging aspects that are opposite of yourself or maybe your natural inclination. Even though this reading doesn't have that full moon at the very end of it here, you do see the effect here of this full moon energy. And a lot of this energy that we're bringing in with this full moon is evaluating the way that we are approaching our self, our self-love, the way that we view ourselves internally, and the things that we do to show love to others around us. So with that in mind, let's now go ahead and get started. With your first card here, Aries, for Monday, March 11th. And Aries, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So at this time, things are not working out for you. Things are not going your way. You may feel as though no matter what it is that you're choosing to do, that it is just not the right choice at the end of the day. And it's got you wondering if what you are putting into at this time is worth it. The Eight of Cups in reverse is a card of contemplation contemplating the things that we put our energy into, our time, our efforts, and evaluating whether or not these items that we are putting our energy into are giving us something back. Is it worth it what we're putting in? And are we getting back an appropriate amount in return from these things? And the Eight of Cups in Reverse tells me that Aries at this time, you may feel that there is something specific within your life that is no longer working for you. And yet you may also feel a sense of hesitancy towards cutting it out of your life, out of your equation here. So there may be certain people or bad habits at this time, Aries, that maybe you are aware is not working for you anymore, but a part of you is hesitant to give this up in some way. And even though you may know that it's not necessarily something that is good for you, you have a sort of attachment to it that keeps you from wanting to let this thing go. Let's go ahead and move on to your next card here, Aries. You have the tower in reverse. Now, as far as letting things go, Aries, that is essentially what the tower card encourages us to do. The tower is the things that we build up around us. It can be our ego. It can be the things that we identify ourselves with, our personal achievements or things within our identity that keep us trapped in a certain space. And the tower is actually this energy of things coming in and getting shaken up. Your foundations and the things that you build up around you, around you in your life, come crumbling down. 
And when it does that, we end up in this place of vulnerability where we have to decide, you know, who am I? What do these things mean for me? If they don't define who I am, then who am I really? And the tower in reverse is, it, it's again this, you know, resistant energy of being able to see yourself in this way or being able to push past into this, this energy of, you know, reevaluating who I am and what my foundations are and where, where do I go from here if the things that I have been building up for myself are gone? You know, if you've been pursuing a career in a particular direction and you've been identifying yourself as this kind of person or this professional and all of a sudden, you know, maybe things aren't working out. Maybe you lose your job unexpectedly or maybe you, you know, quit a, a teaching program that was going to get you to this degree or this goal and you get to a point where, okay, now that I'm not doing this anymore, what does this mean for me in the future moving forward? Do I choose to go in a completely new direction or choose to go and keep pursuing this goal in the same direction that I have been? So the tower in reverse is, you know, there's a lot of this changing energy. And we said earlier this, you know, full moon bringing in this feeling of reevaluation for your person and yourself. Aries, a lot of what you are reevaluating is the things about yourself that maybe you are ashamed of or not proud of. Um, or the things that maybe you realize have been bad habits or things holding you back from achieving your true potential. On Wednesday here, Aries, we're going to move on to the Knight of Wands in reverse. Now, Aries, the Knight of Wands, this card to me can kind of represent your energy at this time. The Knight of Wands, Wands first and foremost are related to fire energy. And Aries being a fire sign, you know, this card can often represent you as a fire sign, Aries. And I feel like in your particular reading, that's what this card is because you don't have any other fire people cards here, if that makes sense. So the Knight of Wands in reverse, Aries, something about what you are going through has shaken your confidence. So as we were kind of kind of rolling with the example from earlier when we were talking about, you know, um, not achieving a goal or building things up around you, you may kind of feel as though this part of you that is being left behind was something that was so wrapped up in your identity for a very long time. And the Knight of Wands is, you know, that shaking confidence that happens. You may feel as though this thing that didn't work out you may feel as though it may not have worked out because of something to do with yourself. You may be thinking it is because of a fault of yourself as a person. And, I, I, you know, I'm not going to know the specific scenario for each and every single person that watches. I can say, Aries, that I feel as though a lot of what happened and what went wrong or what is no longer working doesn't necessarily have to do with you as a fault. I don't feel as though you, Aries, were the one who made a a faulty choice. I feel as though this is more you trying to figure out what this all means for you now. And with that situation being so wrapped up in your identity for a long time, your confidence is shaken because now you don't know how to define yourself. And that can be really scary, feeling as though you don't know where you now fit in. Now that this is all said and done and you're moving on to something new, what does this mean for who you are moving forward? And that can be a very scary or intimidating feeling, but it can also be very freeing because once you take yourself away from the expectations of the past, you can often open yourself up to fresh opportunity and new ideas that aren't weighed down or limited by your current beliefs about yourself or about how things are supposed to go. So the Knight of Wands in Reverse Aries, you, your shaking confidence, um, trying to relearn bits about yourself that bring you inspiration, the things that drive you as a person. Aries, on Thursday we move on to Temperance here. Temperance is a major arcana card, and the major arcana, the tower card from earlier is also a major arcana card. But Temperance, this is, it's this energy of rebalancing things. Temperance is that self-discipline that you have to understand when to push and when to pull, when to 
put in more effort and energy or when you need to pull back. It's this energy of discernment, of knowing what the right thing is and where to put your energy in at this time. So Aries, with temperance here on that Thursday, this is you evaluating and figuring out where you are supposed to be putting in this new energy. Understanding that, you know, if you are sitting here and reminiscing about the past or maybe the lost opportunity or the way that things aren't going at this time, temperance is you choosing to, instead of reminiscing or sitting in this past energy, it's you choosing to put your efforts in a renewed direction towards your future. It's you choosing to, instead of staying stuck in the past about things that, you know, should have, could have, would have, it's you choosing to put energy into building and moving forward. So temperance, figuring out your energy, figuring out when to push yourself harder and to try more and when you maybe need to take a little rest and take a step back. Aries, on Friday here, you move to the Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Queen of Cups in reverse, Aries, you know, I feel like you may feel as though what is being asked of you is something that you resent. I really am getting a feeling of almost like you know what it is that you need to be doing and where you need to be going. And a part of you resents it because you may feel as though it's not where you want it to be. And so asking yourself to begin moving in this direction when it's not where you want to be, I, I feel this like resistance of um, almost like a kid like stomping their, their feet in the mud because they don't want to go where they're being taken to, where they're being led to. Aries, you're being taken to a new place, a new opportunity. And because of the loss of the things that you have been through, because of this change in your energy and this change in your environment, you're kind of in this place of like, man, I really don't, <laughs> I didn't want this change to happen. I didn't want to be going in this direction. I had this idea and I wanted to go in this way. And now that I'm being asked to reevaluate or change or flow somewhere else, I'm like, no, this is not what I want to do. I want to keep going. So the Queen of Cups in reverse, I just feel like there's that little bit of resentment from wanting to, you know, push in that direction. Then on Saturday, Aries, you move on to the Queen of Swords. Now we move from, you know, the Queen of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Swords in the upright. So Aries, even though you have a moment of um, almost kind of, I don't want to say pity party because that sounds bad, right? But I feel as though what's happening is that you give yourself a moment to kind of feel bad for yourself for a bit. You give yourself a chance and then you say, okay, the Queen of Swords here, that is you choosing to say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and boss up anyway. And I feel like that's, you know, a pretty healthy approach to it. Allowing yourself time to, you know, feel bad or to, um, you know, feel a little bit of pity for yourself. Giving yourself like a time limit of doing it and then saying, okay, now that I am done, now that we have, you know, allowed this emotion and this energy for a moment, we're going to go ahead and choose to move forward differently. Like, I might feel bad, but I'm going to do it anyway, sort of thing. So, the Queen of Swords in the upright, I feel like on Saturday, is still a very positive direction for you, Aries. And the Queen of Swords is this card of clear direction. It's about seeing through the muck of our mind. Swords are the thoughts and our intelligence and listening to logic and reasoning. And so the Queen of Swords, I feel like on Saturday, Aries, you're piecing together what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You're putting together a game plan for where you want to be going. And you're starting to sift through that muck, sift through that murky energy, and starting to really see like a concrete path forward, a concrete new direction for yourself. And then on Sunday for week one, Aries, you move on to the Six of Cups. Now, this to me, now that you have gone through that Queen of Swords energy of figuring out what you want to be doing using logic and reasoning, I feel like this Six of Cups is you choosing to look at a positive new direction for yourself. That even though you have been through this disappointment recently of things not working out the way that you intended, that the Six of Cups is you still choosing to see this wishful or bright opportunity for your future. 
So Aries, even though you have been disappointed, you're still choosing to allow yourself that vulnerability of dreaming ahead towards the future. And what I feel like this is Aries is you romanticizing your future. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I, I think it's a really good thing to be romanticizing your future. What I mean by that is like choosing to believe that things will be good and turn out in the best way possible. Choosing to still be optimistic, even though things may not have gone your way, even though you may have previously dealt with disappointment in the past, you're still connected with what your heart wants you to do, right? The Six of Cups kind of carries this uh, inner child connection, reconnecting with your inner child. And so Aries, I feel like that, that could be part of the work that you've been doing lately is reconnecting with your inner child. I feel like this is you choosing to still dream with that vulnerability, like that of a child, in a sense. In a sense. And so, Six of Cups, you're optimistic, you're choosing to think positively about the future, you're still dreaming, you're still feeling good about the way things are going. So, Aries, that ends week one for you. We're going to move on to week two here. And week two, Aries, you start off with that Three of Swords in Reverse on Monday. Now, the Three of Swords in Reverse, this is dealing with pain from our past. And it's specifically healing from this pain. When this card shows up, it's usually saying that something painful may have happened in your recent past. That, you know, something, a disappointment, a heartbreak, a rejection... So again, this Three of Swords in Reverse feels like it is a past event to me. It does not feel like something that is currently ongoing, so you don't need to worry about that. I feel like this is specifically related to our first cards here at the beginning of the week with this disappointment or this thing happening where maybe things didn't work out right. The Three of Swords in Reverse feels like you processing this disappointment to me. It feels like you're allowing yourself the space to feel disappointed, processing it, dealing with it. You know, it's it's a little bit more prevalent on this day, on this Monday. Um, and that could possibly be because, you know, maybe this week is part of your rounds to leave and finish everything up before you move on to a new project or before you move on from this, this place. And, you know, it could just be maybe for some of you specific events happening this day that bring this disappointment or this event back into the forefront of your thoughts. So now you find yourself thinking about it throughout that day. But I just feel like in general, Aries, I feel as though you are going to be approaching this still in a pretty healthy way. You're not doing it in a place of like reminiscing to make yourself feel bad or feel pain. You're doing it in a way of positivity, still wanting to be optimistic and look forward, but just allowing yourself the space and the time to, you know, feel this feeling as it's here and allow it to move through you so that you can process it. Aries, on Tuesday, you move on to the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Now, this card here to me, Aries, says that, yes, things may feel as though they are not going your way at this time. Things may feel very unlucky. Or you may feel as though the universe is out to get you in some way. You may find things may feel a little bit more difficult. I feel like this is mostly related to this event that, that didn't work out for you. I feel like this is you blaming yourself in a way. I feel like maybe you're sitting here thinking, what did I do that made this go wrong? This thing is my fault. And so Aries, I just want to caution you to, you know, avoid those kinds of blaming lines of thinking because that is counterproductive to trying to move forward from it. And things just happen. There's a, a quote from Star Trek that says, you know, you can do everything right and at the end of the day still lose. So, Aries, I feel like it doesn't matter what you would have done. I don't feel like this thing worked out the way it did because of a fault of you. I don't feel like this is your fault, Aries. I feel like sometimes things don't work out. They don't work out the way that we intended them to. And it's a redirection. It gives us an opportunity to reevaluate the way that things have been going. And it gives us a chance to pivot. It gives us a chance to move on. 
And they say that sometimes rejection is divine protection. That, you know, we're being blocked from achieving something a particular way because maybe it would have been more harmful to us in the long run. Could have caused you more money than you expected or caused you more emotional labor than what you were prepared for. Try not to think of things in this way of, you know, good or bad, right or wrong, and definitely don't blame yourself when things don't work out as planned because that's just life sometimes, Aries. Things don't work out as planned and we gotta learn how to move forward with it and how to kind of pivot where we're going. Aries, on Wednesday we move on to the Princess of Swords and the Princess of Swords is a daydreamer. So Aries, I feel as though, you know, moving forward from all of this, I feel as though there is something that happens on this Saturday with that Queen of Swords in the upright. Then the next few days, the next three days specifically, Six of Cups, Three of Swords in reverse, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. To me, what I'm feeling with that is that Aries, something happens that brings it up into the forefront of your mind, brings up some sort of work that maybe needs to be done, or maybe some loose ends that need to be brought back together. I feel like those three days are you processing these things, moving through these feelings. And then on Wednesday with that Princess of Swords, I feel like this is you kind of getting back into that, getting back into your game face. But getting back to this idea of, okay, now that I have felt these feelings, now that I have moved through them, what is my game plan? And I feel like this Princess of Swords is you getting back to that game plan. Specifically, the Princess of Swords is about daydreaming in a way. It's about, you know, thinking of your future, the way that things can go. The Princess of Swords is not necessarily about action. It's more about preparing, getting your ducks in a row, getting clear about your direction and the way that you want things to be from here on out. Moving on from this disappointment and this pain, you're starting to get back to your your game plan, starting to think about, okay, now that things didn't work out, where are we going from here? What are we doing next? And what can I do to make sure that this, that I don't make this same mistake again? Aries, that Princess of Swords feels like a positive point in a new direction. And it does feel like you're actually choosing to move forward with that too. Aries, on Thursday here, you move on to the Four of Wands. So, for some of you, the thing that you are evaluating or the direction that you are moving in is towards a new home. So some of you could be potentially, you know, buying a new home. Maybe your disappointment that you were dealing with earlier was about not receiving the home that you would like. Um, the Four of Wands is also sometimes about marriage. So it could be potentially that, you know, something about your marriage plans or your marriage itself maybe didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. But I do feel as though this Four of Wands is 100% it's related to your home life and your home environment. So, you know, even if there's some of you where it's not your relationship and it's not buying a house, this is going to be about your energy at your house itself. So choosing to work on things from the home side. So maybe you realize that the way that you are living at your house or the things that are going on within your household are something that are holding you back from being able to realize and move into this new life for yourself. The Four of Wands, reevaluating your home, reevaluating the way things are done, and, you know, as we said specifically for some of you, dealing with your home itself. Then Friday here, Aries, you move into the death card in reverse. There is something here that you are leaving behind. The death card in reverse has a very similar energy to your first card here with that eight of cups in reverse. You can see that they even have very similar color palettes and that's meant to show that, you know, they do have very similar um, meanings behind them. The eight of cups is walking away from something that's no longer serving you, but the death card is about walking away from something even if things didn't end the way that you expected them to. Death is something that's not always quick. It's not something that's always with all the strings, you know, tied. Sometimes things end and we don't have all the answers that we wanted and we don't have... There are sometimes loose ends that never get resolutions that we want them to. Things happen unexpectedly where maybe we had more that we wanted to say or more that we wanted to do, 
And so the death card in reverse is this, it's this unwillingness to let go. And it's not a bad thing. It's part of what we need to process and move on and move through. So clinging very tightly to this loss or this feeling of loss and being unable to let it go or being unwilling to begin the process of letting it go. So whatever this disappointment was, this could very well mean that you are still in this place where you don't feel fully, you don't feel as though you fully accepted what has happened at this point. Um, you may feel as though you are still kind of waiting out for hope that, you know, something is going to come up and that things will be different. But with this death card in reverse showing up, it's saying that things are done. So even if you may hope that, you know, this house will come back up on the market for you again, or that, you know, this person that you ended a relationship with will come back and marry you, you know, that death card in reverse is saying that whatever this thing is that you have dealt with, this disappointment, it is something that is done. And so we need to start, you know, moving through this acceptance, moving towards acceptance of this fact that this thing is done, it's not going to come back, and that we need to start thinking about new future and a new path forward without this thing in our life. Saturday here, Aries, you move to the Two of Cups, so I feel as though this is a positive moment for you on Saturday. You could very well be meeting with friends or family on this Saturday. Um, this is, I believe, the Saturday before Easter. So if, you know, you are a, a um, religious or even if you're not religious, some of you could be getting together with family to celebrate the holiday on Saturday instead of the Sunday for that Two of Cups. But this is a sense of community. This is a sense of love and partnership and seeing eye to eye with another person who sees you and recognizes you and values you for who you are. For some of you, that could very well be a partner. You could be feeling very in tune with your partner emotionally at this time if you are in a positive relationship. For others, this could be, you know, just having a good time with a friend or a family member that you are close with and just feeling very connected with a, your community at this time. And lastly here, Aries, on Sunday the 24th, on Sunday, your last card for week two here, Aries, you move on to the Seven of Pentacles, which is about looking at what you are building evaluating what you are gaining from what you are doing, the things that you are putting into. When you look at this card, I'm gonna bring it up close here so you can see it. When you look at this card, you see that there's a person here on the card watering this tree, watering this tree to get the fruit, the pentacles from this. It's meant to represent the things that you are putting in. So this person is literally pouring out into this thing and this thing is taking nutrition taking value from it and using it to grow and produce fruit so it's about the things that you are putting into to gain some sort of return so aries you could be very well evaluating at this time on sunday what you are putting in where you are putting into certain areas of your life thinking about where you want to put in for the future. What do you want your future harvest here to look like? What is this new future for yourself going to look like? And what can you do to nurture and grow this opportunity for yourself? So Aries, you're thinking about what you want your future to look like, where you want things to go from here. And as we said, you know, you're dealing with some disappointment and a little bit of a setback, but I feel as though you are allowing yourself healthy time to figure out what this thing is and figure out what your new future is. Allowing yourself time to feel your feelings and to move through them and work through them so that you can, you know, move forward with a clear, clear direction for yourself, with a clear mind, without being influenced by your feelings in the moment. I feel like that's all very positive for you, Aries. So, Anyway, thank you very much for being here for your weekly reading, and I look forward to seeing you all again next week.